I'm Justin McRoberts. My current project, entitled CMYK, is an exploration of the process of faith and community. The CMYK project started with the release of three EPs. Shortly after the release of those original songs, three of my favorite visual artists set to work on pieces made in response to the music of CMYK. I sat down in Oakland, California with Laura Van Duren to hear the story behind the piece she made for Why. So do you have like a normal process for going about making a piece, taking it from idea to making it physical? The way I work is totally with drawing. So hmm. I keep these books with me um, and I just draw what I'm attracted to. Like this is, I was somewhere and just draw the place that I, I'm at. And then somehow out of all the drawings come a piece. So the process for making these pieces that we're mm -hmm. surrounded by, yeah. similar, you drew and then? Well, it came out of a point in my life when I was really struggling. Um, my whole life had been kind of turned upside down and yeah. uh, I found out about you know, the betrayal of my husband. Of, mm. of so that, that kind of turned my life upside down yeah. and I started drawing houses that were kind of coming down out of the ceiling like bombs. I felt like mm. my house was wrecked and my heart was wrecked. Mm. And um, they finally stopped coming down as bombs and started being drawn upright. Mm. And then I kind of wanted, actually, you know, you, you kind of inspired a lot of this with your project. Okay. Um, to create something out of that brokenness. I've always just hung on to security. I want everything safe. I wanted everything, you know, just right. And that that's harmed me in many ways. Mm. You know, it made me fearful. And now I think embracing impermanence is a way to really let go. So this particular house is completely different than all the others. They each have their own personality, but this one's very different because it's made with balsa wood like sticks instead of natural sticks. And um, I started playing with combining the text with the maps. It, it didn't make sense to not have the paint on it, so I started playing with adding color beyond the map color. Okay. So let's go inside. So I created um, lights out of other people's garbage. I also put panels of old white paper on the inside so people can write directly on the white paper so it's oh. not as distracting. Okay. And uh, this one is fairly empty, it still needs an audience. <laughs> yeah. 